All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome to V Broadway Finds. Today, we're going to do another thrift trip video. We are going up to Detroit to uh, go to the Henry Ford Museum for the last week of the Marvel exhibit. Mm -hmm. And it was $40 a ticket, but you can get in early and look at all the Henry Ford stuff before your Marvel time is up. Uh, but while we're up there, there's a few thrift stores my brother told us about. So we're going to try to pay for our $40 tickets afterwards by thrifting for 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah, so if you're interested in that, keep watching uh, and hopefully we can show you how to make some money while doing some fun activities. But first, I will show you what's in our car that I have to take out before we can even leave. It's very cold outside and he just decided to do this right before we're leaving. <laughs> so I am very happy. She, she loves me. So yesterday I went to an auction. Um, I bought a $100 Baldwin set for $5. I bought a John Deere bagger for $100. These sell brand new for $300. I plan on selling that on Facebook Marketplace. And then I bought a Husky toolbox for $40. And it still has the $70 price tag. So I was just, I bought that for me. I bought this to sell and I bought this for us. Because our front door doesn't have a deadbolt. And we needed one. All right. So the other things I got yesterday was a Tommy Hilfiger, vintage Tommy Hilfiger jacket. A girl's medium Burton snow jacket. So it's really cool. And then I bought an army jersey. And a OTBGSU jersey, which is kind of cool because I bought two old uh, Toledo Storm jerseys that were the same company and the one sold for 150. Now that won't, but Still really cool find for four bucks. And now we're gonna go to the we're gonna train. unload everything so we can oh. go up to Detroit. Great. It's, yeah. so cold. <laughs> it's not that cold. It's only 20 degrees. <laughs> the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to uh, a post office and ship out some of the things we sold. She yeah. sold a J. Crew flannel. I sold a couple shirts and one of them was from 96. It was a Colorado Avalanche NHL jersey. The other one that I can think of right now was a Detroit Red Wings, Detroit Red Wings <laughs> jersey. I feel like Daffy Duck. Uh, and I sold that to a guy in Canada. So we're going to get that all shipped out today. I'm so excited. <laughs> they told us Thor is hanging over the entrance. <laughs> oh, look, there's like signs over there. There's so many things. This isn't this isn't even the video. I just feel like they people need to see it. I don't see so. Oh, I do see Thor. All right. Just finished up. That was so cool. <laughs> yeah. It was so cool. I loved it. Totally worth the price to come up here, which was yes. like, honestly, like 50 bucks with the gas and the ticket. Uh, we're gonna go get some famous burgers because it's like four minutes away from the Henry Ford Museum. And then we are going to go to the Goodwill that is right next door. So we're gonna find something cool. I wanna find something really cool now because we but, just saw all the cool old things. Yeah, they were so a lot of vintage stuff that we were like oh we've seen these we've sold this already so <laughs> stay tuned well we didn't go to famous burger we didn't go to bd mongolian everything in michigan is closed we can't we can't eat anywhere inside so they had a jimmy john's like across the street so we got to the goodwill that was a minute down the road and we're gonna head in as soon as carolina finishes her food
All right, guys, we're out of the first Goodwill we went to. We might hit one more on the way back home to Toledo. Uh, I ended up spending $53.42. Uh, we'll give you a little bit better look when we get home of what I bought, uh, but definitely will cover the entire trip and should make a couple hundred dollars in profit. So I'm excited. So we made it to the Salvation Army. We. All right. Last stop of the day for us, and then we're getting back home because there's going to be a big snowstorm. We're supposed to get like five inches of snow. I oh, doubt yeah, I it. I forgot that was today. Yeah. I doubt we'll get it. I was just excited in there. But uh, we're going to see what this uh, Salvation Army has. To... Army. Salvation Army. Army. The Sal. The Sal Arm. The Salvation <laughs> Army has to offer, and we're going to see if we can uh, get anything that'll make us some money. Okay. Okay, so right now we're outside of the store. Well, I am. Um, we've already got a bag full of stuff from Salvation Army. And Vince is currently running back because the store was only taking cash. And we actually have been buying a lot more stuff than we expected. Um, so we had to run to an ATM that was literally right across the street. So we got the cash and now he's back buying uh, the other stuff that he couldn't get. Um, I think he got like a pair of cowboy boots that sell for like $200. He'll explain it and show it later. So um, that's our current situation right now. And overall, it's been a great day of thrifting. Once we get back to Toledo, we'll show you everything we got. And there are the boots. <laughs> My new, my new kicks. <laughs> Feel it, Carolina. Oh boy. <laughs> it's real. It's the real cowhide. Uh, they were thirty-four ninety-nine. Had to actually go to that ATM to get the money. The the other one, it's not on this one. The other one actually has the tag on it for uh, one eighty-nine. Still on the bottom of the shoe. On the bottom of the shoe. We're going back home. Going back home. We'll actually show you everything. We'll round up how much I spent in total, and then uh, we'll tell you how much we plan on making. Counting the tickets for Counting the Counting the tickets museum. and the gas. So we'll let you know everything. If you like what you're seeing, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the page. If you wanna buy anything you're seeing in the video, uh, go and look at the Instagram and the eBay store in the description below. Uh, you can find all the items that we're selling there. Or if you have any comments about any of the things we found or if you found anything really cool, uh, share it with us. Let us know. So we're back. It's been a few days actually. We never ended up doing a close for this video. So I want to give you guys an idea of what we bought uh, at the Salvation Army and the Goodwill and what the potential profit is. I already put everything away. So what I did was I posted everything on eBay already, except for two items. I'm gonna show you what I listed them for and that way you guys can see a picture of what we bought and what I actually posted it for. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is a Mickey Unlimited crew neck sweatshirt. I bought that for $4 and I put it up on eBay for $34.99 and we've already got a couple watchers on it. The next item I'm gonna show you is a My Chemical Romance uh, t-shirt. I bought it for $2 at the Salvation Army. I have it up for 20. I bought it a little bit lower, but it was just a really cool shirt. After that, I have another Disney quarter zip. I bought that for $3.99 as well at the Goodwill. I have that one up for 40. And again, we do have a couple watchers on it. Carolina found the Marvin the Martian uh, polo from 1998 at the Goodwill. We bought that for $3. I have that up for $22. Something I found that was really cool at the Salvation Army was this all over print button up uh, Punisher shirt. It's awesome. <laughs> I found that at the Salvation Army. We picked that up for $3. I have that up right now for $35. Next up, we have a vintage 90s Dallas Cowboys crew neck. Uh, with the three buttons. I bought that for $4. We have that up for $25. That's from the year 2000. Carolina found a really good pair of Detroit Pistons tearaway pants. Uh, we bought that for $3. We have it up right now for $25. At the Salvation Army, I also picked up a Michigan uh, Nike True Hat for $1. I have that up for $12.99. And we have a couple people watching that right now as well. 
One of the windbreakers I picked up was this University of Cal vintage Nike windbreaker. It's got the black tag with the red swoosh. I have that up right now for $60 and I bought it for four. So that's a really big profit if that sells at 60. Cool one that we picked up at the Salvation Army was a Germany sweatshirt. It just has a little town in Germany on it. Uh, it's from the 90s. It's a gear for sports. I have that up right now for $32. We picked it up for four. Something else Carolina found, which is one of the cooler items we found, and I don't know what it'll sell for. I just put it at auction for $75. Bucks. It's this Armani jeans hoodie that's got the, it's sleeveless. So it's a sleeveless Armani jeans hoodie. But the cool thing about it is it's from the 80s. So that's what makes it special and could sell for more money is because you're not going to find those every day. Uh, the last couple things I'll show you that are already on eBay, they actually already sold. So one thing we picked up from the good, actually we picked up both items at the Goodwill. The first one is the Roger Federer uh, zip up jacket. We bought that for $4 and we flipped it for $81 within a week. The other item is this single stitched all over print Michelangelo shirt. We bought for $3.99 and we sold that for $60. Those two items were huge to pick up just for the trip alone. The items that I have not put up yet, but I'll show you the comps on what they're selling for, is the Solomon hiking boots. They're in awesome condition. I bought these for $6. They should sell for about $4. The last thing that you saw in the video where I had to sprint out and get money from the ATM Huntington across the street were these cowhide uh, boots they sell for right around a hundred dollars they're code west they have the hair on cowhide on them and actually i bought them for 34.99 so we should make about 75 bucks maybe a little bit less but right around there so after everything was said and done i spent about 150 dollars uh, for the whole trip so i spent about 110 dollars on everything i bought uh, from the goodwill and salvation army and then I spent $40 on my ticket to the Henry Ford Museum to see the Marvel exhibit. After doing the rundown of everything that I put it up for, if I sell everything at what I posted it for, I have the potential to make $638 uh, in profit. So after taking the $150 out of the $638, I have a potential to make $488 uh, in extra money from this trip. It pays for the entire trip. And actually, the two items I sold for $81 and $60 already almost covers my entire trip. That's going to be it for this video. Hopefully, you guys liked it. Check out some of the other videos that we have if you want to learn some more things about thrifting or eBay sales. Until then, wait to see the next one.